Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. After a radio silence of almost 2 years, India has once again successfully tested the hypersonic technology. However, this time it is not DRDO on 9th December 2022, ISRO and headquarters integrated defense staff have jointly conducted the hypersonic vehicle trials. As per reports, the trial achieved all required parameters and demonstrated hypersonic vehicle capability. While ISRO is a well-known name for every Indian, IDS or the Integrated Defense Staff is an organization responsible for fostering coordination and enabling prioritization across the different branches of Indian Armed Forces. It is composed of representatives from Indian Army, Navy, Air Force, Ministry of External Affairs, DRDO, Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Finance. The joint test of hypersonic vehicle means it can be used for military applications as well. The hypersonic technology is not something new for ISRO. On August 28, 2016, ISRO has successfully flight tested its scramjet, making India fourth country to demonstrate the flight testing of scramjet engine. This first experimental mission of ISRO's scramjet engine towards the realization of an air-breathing propulsion system was successfully conducted from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. The maiden short duration experimental test of ISRO's scramjet engine achieved a hypersonic flight at Mach 6. The important flight events, namely burnout of booster rocket stage, ignition of second stage solid rocket, functioning of scramjet engines for 5 seconds followed by burnout of his second stage took place exactly as planned. ISRO's Advanced Technology Vehicle ATV, which is an advanced sounding rocket, is a solid rocket booster used for this test of a scramjet engine at supersonic condition. ATV is a two-stage, spin-established launcher with identical solid motors based on Rohini sounding rocket. The twin scramjet engine were mounted on the back of the second stage. Once the second stage was reached, the desired conditions for engine startup, necessary actions were initiated to ignite the scramjet engines and they functioned for about 5 seconds. The ATV flight operations were based on the pre-programmed sequences. Now, some of the technological challenges handled by ISRO to the development of scramjet engine includes the design and development of hypersonic engine air intake, supersonic combustor, development of materials which can withstand very high temperatures, computational tools to simulate hypersonic flow, ensuring performance and operability of engine across a wide range of flight speeds, proper thermal management and ground testing of the engines. The another important in fact, very important milestone which was achieved by ISRO is the first blow-down test of newly realized trisonic wind tunnel which was held on 8th December 2022 at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Tiruvananthapuram. The trisonic wind tunnel is a system to aid aerodynamic design of rockets and re-entry spacecrafts by characterizing a scaled model by evaluating forces, moments, load distribution unsteady pressure, acoustic levels, etc. The tunnel has an overall length of about 160 meters and has a maximum cross-section of 5.4 meter. The tunnel can be used for testing various space vehicles in three flight regimes. That's why its name is trisonic. These three flight regimes are below the speed of sound, equal to the speed of sound and above the speed of sound and therefore they have given the name trisonic wind tunnel. The tunnel can simulate flight conditions from 0.2 times the speed of sound to 4 times the speed of sound that is Mach 4. India has built 12 hypersonic wind tunnels where it can test missiles at a speed of 13 times the speed of sound. The trisonic wind tunnel is a major step towards India's increasing self-reliance in aerospace sector. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. 
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.